Rudy Giuliani, um, the media have a hate on for you. Uh, you've represented the president extraordinarily <laughs> well in the Mueller case and so forth. That's probably one of the reasons. But uh, you came into possession of a copy of the hard drive. Can you tell us how that came about? Yep. Uh, the gentleman who was repairing the hard drive and Hunter Biden abandoned it. He may very well have forgotten where he left it for a while because the gentleman who got it said he was drunk for the entire time that he dealt with him. And he dealt with him twice. Uh, the gentleman, after, after he saw a lot of these things in the newspapers, got concerned that he had some kind of illegal property because of all these allegations that were being made back and forth about the Bidens. So he looked at the hard drive. And uh, when he looked at the hard drive, he was very concerned with what he saw. Some of the photographs show blatant illegal activity that anyone would be able to figure out is illegal. Some of the memos clearly talk about illegal activity and contradict what he was hearing on television, the Biden saying, the one that you just you know, asked about. Biden was saying, I didn't know anything about Burisma. And here he has a, 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 an email trail that has him meeting with the number two guy at Burisma. So he called the FBI. The FBI came. The FBI interviewed him. He told the FBI everything I just told you. And, the, and then he said to the FBI agent, you know, I'm really afraid because the Bidens are very powerful around here. He said, I'm really worried what they're going to do to me. He says the FBI agent said to him, don't worry, if you keep your mouth shut, nothing will happen. He said he was concerned with that reply, but it could have meant one or two things. And then he gave a hard drive, the original hard drive, to the FBI. He made four copies. He left two copies with friends of his in case he was killed. Uh, and then the FBI never got back to him. Months went by, no further requests from the FBI. And then the impeachment started, and he started to hear what he regarded from what he had seen on the tape as very, very false allegations being made by, you know, those clowns, the Democratic clowns that conducted it. And uh, he got angry. He happens to like me, unlike the press, respect me, uh, thought I was being maligned. He contacted a group of people, sent out notes, you know, I have something, I have something, I have something. He sent one, I, I don't know, remember if he sent one to my office or to my lawyer's office, but in any event, it ended up in the hands of my lawyer because I was working on other things at the time, Robert Costello, who is a former assistant U.S. attorney, former chief of the criminal division. He works for me and other assistant U.S. Uh, uh, US attorneys, very skilled trial lawyer, represented George Steinbrenner. So I'll just give you his pedigree. So uh, Bob took it over. He said, you don't bother with this until I check it out. So Bob went down, met with him. They got to know each other. Bob checked everything out, made sure that the document was authentic. He then went, he himself authenticated the hard drive with a number of different tests that he performed. And then he, brought, he, he got a copy of it from the gentleman. And then he began cataloging it, and then he brought it to my attention. And uh, basically, he honed in on Two, two things. There's a lot more there. He honed in on the Ukraine uh, situation, the contradictions in the Ukraine situation that proved what we already knew about the Ukraine, that, that Biden had been paid a very huge bribe in order to fix the case. And then he himself bribed Poroshenko. And he also, it is filled, it's probably overwhelmed with Chinese um, uh, business dealings, two or three of which we're familiar with, Honestly, two or three of which we're still analyzing. 